Hey my friend, if you came across this video, it's most probably a reason that you needed to hear this. I want to remind you to believe in yourself, to have faith in yourself and your aspirations, to trust that your efforts won't go unnoticed, to envision that the seeds you're planting, that they're growing, they're evolving, to know that everything is falling into place that you're not navigating this journey alone, that unseen forces are aligning in your favor. And when you embrace your capabilities, you will feel the presence of forces that will help you to make it happen. Sometimes it's harder, sometimes it's easier, but what matters the most is that you never stop believing into yourself. So believe in yourself, my friend. I want to give you a few reminders that will help you to believe in yourself even more. And the first reminder I want to give you is to not let anyone to put you into a box. People want to put you into a box. People want to say things to you because they are hurting. And when you do something new, when you do something differently, they will try to put you into a box because they they get scared that you will leave them, that you will outgrow them, that you will evolve in such a way that you will leave them behind. Many people are scared of that and therefore they say things to you to put you into the box just so you would stay in their reality. So they would have someone to complain with, to gossip about, to whatever. Don't let anyone put you into a box. When you remind yourself that you're here to thrive, that you're here to follow your bliss, follow your bliss, my friend, that you're here to evolve in your gifts, to evolve in your talents, to discover and remember why you've come here at the first place, you will jump out of this box of old identity, old limitations that were projected onto you. You will recognize there's a soul identity within you. And that soul identity strives towards growth. It encourages you to have this growth mindset that looks at challenges as lessons, that looks at struggles as something to draw strength from it, as something that looks deep in the eyes of the fear and encourages yourself any way that is possible for you. Do everything you do from a place of love, my friend. Everything you do, do it from a place of love and you will always know that you're doing the right thing. When you do whatever you do from love, doesn't matter what kind of criticism will come across you, you know you're doing the right thing. If you do it out of love, you're doing the right thing. Doesn't matter what people say to you. If you want to believe in yourself, do things from love and you will know that you're always doing the right thing. And there's a beautiful saying that says, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. This is something I want to remind you right now because so many people are living this limited idea of what is possible, but you, you're aiming towards the stars, right? You are dreaming big. You know that you deserve something greater. You know that you're here to experience this life in everything that life can offer to you, in everything that is possible. But then at some point, you may start doubting yourself because things are not going this way. Know that as long as you're walking towards whatever matters to you the most, things are aligning and eventually they will align and you will say, oh, I'm so grateful that I haven't quitted on this journey. I'm so grateful that I didn't stop because it's easy to stop and you know that it's easy to stop, but you're not stopping, right? You're not stopping. Sure, you pause, you take a break, you rest and you recharge and rejuvenate, all fine with that. But then you get back on track and you do what you have to do, right? Another thing that will help you to believe in yourself is this deep knowing that when you're told that you're not loved, you recognize that it didn't destroy you. We've all been exposed to something that 
kind of reminded us is we are not loved. Certain people treated us the way that showed us that we are not loved. Some people treated us like a doormat and it gave us a message that we are not loved. But what is the most important is that we recognize it didn't destroy us. We are still here. It hurt us. It wounded us. But it didn't destroy us. Did it destroy you? If you're listening to this, you're still here. You're still here. Because there's something stronger than pain within you. There's something stronger than any hurt. There's a part of you that can't be changed because it's perfect. This is the divine part of you, divine DNA within you that can't be changed because it's perfect. That part of you can't be destroyed. And when you learn to tap into this divine part of you, you can't be destroyed. Nobody can take it from you. What's important is for you to learn to tap into this divine part of you, that part of you that makes you feel dancing, that makes you feel creative, that makes you feel like you want to help someone, that makes you feel recharged because you want to lead a path here on this planet. You want to pave a path for those who can't see it. That part of you is the part of you that can't be destroyed. And once you identify yourself with that divine part of you, nothing can move you, nothing can destroy you. And once you know that, you will forever stand in power and faith in yourself because that part of you is not separated from anything. It's not separated from your wanting destination. It's not separated from your greatest possible skills that can be maintained and and fulfilled. It's not separated from God, from universe, from source. It's not separated from wisdom and knowledge and anything you need to know. It's not separated from answers you're seeking right now. It's all connected. And once you tap into it, you can call up any answer you need. You can call up any guidance you need. You can call up a guide that you need. Like envisioning a person you admire and that person will give you answers. You can visualize that. You can imagine that person standing in front of you. Ask that person for guidance. You will recognize that from that inner power, you can call up anything you choose. Another reminder that will help you to keep faith in yourself is that you don't have any shadows only if you are not in the light. When you are in the light, you will have shadows. We all have them. And our shadows are not our weaknesses. Our shadows are what makes us unique. So when you feel shame for something, when you feel sadness for something, when you feel emotional block for something, when you feel pain, when you feel something as a struggle, those things make you unique. Those things make you unique. And there's a beauty hidden within them. And that beauty, when you discover the beauty of your shame, and I know it's hard, when you discover the strength in your pain, you will recognize that because you feel that, you can create something unique on this world. And what I mean by that? Well, you've seen my art, you've seen my paintings, but the truth is, if I would not quit my job at some point and go through my deepest possible fears, which were fear of losing comfort and security, I let go of the consistent stream of income, as I quitted my last job, if I would not go through this fearful experiences of letting go of discomfort, I would never start painting. So I've recognized, well, at some point, we need to say yes to this deep calling that we feel. And when we say yes to deep calling, we also say yes to facing with our shame, to facing with our fears, to facing with our pain, to facing with any kind of criticism, to facing with anything just so we can get out of the box of this collective programming and we step into our power. So, my friend, if you are in the light, you will have shadows and it's completely okay. 
it's completely okay. You've been born with this understanding that having any kind of weakness is something that will only inspire you to grow. If you were born without wings, my friend, I don't see your wings, I don't see my wings, but I definitely feel them. Do nothing to prevent them from growing. Nothing to prevent them from growing. So sure, it's more poetic language, but it means you were meant to fly. People say, oh, you can't do it. But you say, yes, I can because I choose to. Yes, I can because I choose to. And that is all what you need to explain. Why you're doing it? Because I choose to do it. I've chosen to do it. I came here to do it. It's all what you need. The only reason you need is because you choose to do it. It's all you need to know. I've chosen it. Right? People who attack your confidence see your potential even when you don't. So remind yourself always, when people are attacking you, they're seeing your confidence and they want to destroy it because they are scared of it. When people attack you, know they see your confidence. So see your confidence as well. You know that confidence can grow when you're willing to be without it, but you're not actually without it. You're just not aware of how confident you actually are until you recognize that everything can be easy if you take it easy. If you look on life through a lens of simplicity, everything becomes much easier. You recognize you don't need to be attached to outcomes, you don't need to be attached to people, you don't need to be attached to, to certain opinions. All you need to do is to take one step at a time. And when nothing seems like working, take a break, recharge, and then again focus on your work. Because your for work <laughs> is improving yourself as a character, as an ability of self-expression. And when your ability of self-expression is increasing and expanding, you are increasing and expanding your capabilities. And when your capabilities and abilities are expanding, you're becoming more powerful. And as you're becoming more powerful, you're reality is becoming more powerful, right? Your life is becoming more empowered and you're receiving the gifts that can help you to be even more empowered. So know that, my friend. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself because no one will profit from your doubts. <laughs> no one will profit from your doubts. So... When you believe in yourself, you walk differently, you talk differently, your body language changes, your facial expression changes. When you're doubting, you become quite dark. You become like something has possessed you. And it's quite toxic if we stay there. So we need to believe in ourselves. We need to believe in the possibility that it's a way out of here. There is a way out of here, whatever you feel. You may feel depression, you may feel sadness, you may feel worried how it will work out. You may feel like the job you're trying to get will not happen or the relationship you want to build, you want to get with that person and you're doubting like, oh, that person will not like me or whatever. Those doubts will not make any profit. But if you believe and try it out and call that person and go on that interview for job or try and open that company and start it out, even if you fail, you've learned an important lesson. Only if you try. So believe in yourself. Know that what you think you become. When you believe in yourself, you think greater thoughts. Isn't that true? When you believe in yourself, you go into a library and you pick a book. When you believe in yourself, you start what you've been always dreaming about because you know that your life can be great if you do great things. And when you believe in yourself, you want to do great things because it feels great. When you believe in yourself, you're creative because you've been born as an extension of the creator. So you can 
<laughs> so you can create beautiful things, right? So you can speak your truth. You can voice out what needs to be said. So you can be here a voice of reason, a voice of truth, a voice of intelligent you as you are. So, my friend, know that you have something special to offer. Something different than anyone else. So believe in yourself, my friend. Believe. Hey, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed in today's video. I want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work original paintings, you can find prints of all of my art in different sizes, so go there and check it out, attractpassion.com. If you will use the code PASSION15, PASSION15, you will get 15 off onto your first order. So go there and check it out, and to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have some free spots once again. You can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there. So go and check it out. If you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, till next time, one love.